Hey, everybody, we are live right now at the Cutting Room in New York. This is presented by our friends at Show X. We are live right now with Sammy Ray and the friends. Sammy Ray and the friends, thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. Yeah, so we are, we're about to hear uh, your music, a lot of it right now. A lot of it is from Let's Throw a Party, the EP that is out right now. Yep. We are also going to hear a fan favorite from the previous EP. What's happening first today? Uh, we're going to do a brand new tune called Jackie Onassis from the EP that was released just a couple of days ago. We're very excited. This is one of our first opportunities to play it live, so we're really excited. Thanks All for right. having us. <laughs> Let's do it.
man, this is so much fun. This is the most show-like show I've seen in nearly a year. Thank you guys so much for coming and doing it. This is the most show-like it. show I think we've played. <laughs> and man, the amount the amount of fun that you guys you guys are clearly having on stage translates. I'm positive it's translating through to the internet and all the people on the other side of sides of those lenses Aww. right now. So thanks for bringing that. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the, the importance of the family that you guys clearly are, about the Brooklyn community that, uh, that has supported you and, and how important that, that used to be. And then especially now when everything's just on its head, it's, I would imagine, nice to have, uh, have people to lean on that are, that are this much fun to be around. Yeah, by all means. Well, I think we're very lucky because we all physically live in close proximity to one another. Um, and we have a yard, so we have had more than one kind of hang around a bonfire with six feet away, and that's really special, but I know that a lot of folks don't have the opportunity to connect with people the way that we have. Um, and we've also been blessed with a, with a handful of virtual gigs um, and, and one real life gig in Georgia over the course of the last year, so we count ourselves very lucky to be able to do that. And yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, this is, La familia is aquí, you know? This is the family. Um, we are hailing from all over the United States and all different musical backgrounds and kind of cultural backgrounds. And when we found each other over the course of the last couple of years in Brooklyn, it was just very clearly a magical thing. Um, we're very honored and proud to be from Brooklyn and consider ourselves a Brooklyn band. We're a New York City band, but we're very much a Brooklyn brand. A Brooklyn band and Brooklyn brand, I figure. Uh, so, yeah, we're lucky. We love each other a lot, and we love everybody out there a lot, too. Well, we love you. Thank you for bringing that magic here today. This is a total, total pleasure, and there's a lot coming up. There's a lot of your music to share with the Internet. What's happening second today? Yes, so we're going to do a tune called Living Room Floor. I'm going to pop over here. I feel like I'm doing stand-ups. <laughs> you guys ever, <laughs> you ever stand in front of a piano? Uh, so this is a tune called Living Room Floor, <clears throat> which was released as a single. I think I got it. Gracias, mama. Um, no, I got it. I got it. I guess she got it. She got it. This was released as a single a couple uh, months before the EP came out, and it's getting a whole second wind with the release of the EP, which we're very grateful for. All right, I'll give you the little intro that we always do when we're live. This next song is about growing up, growing up, growing into a space that's all your own. It might be a physical space, maybe just an emotional space. It's a place to call your own. Oh, 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 oh. You don't need much to feel at home. You need the people that you love. You need confidence in yourself. That's about it's called living room floor whoa, 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 whoa. I woke up nearly six o'clock It was our last day in Vermont One of us was still missing We're staying at Tommy's place Doing nothing but playing for no pay And anybody who wanted to up laughing on a blanket on some bullshit all alone on the living room floor on the living room floor and i keep a portrait in my pocket on myself the year i got stung by that silly man whoa, 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 whoa. you could see the fire in my eyes when he fired off to no surprise he didn't come to give a damn Soda, scrubbing on my rug on the living room floor. On the living room floor, on the living room floor. All right, calling up on the bridge. If you're at home and you're not, you can sing along. We all need that right about now. Here we go. I am in my own lane. I will not let myself down. I am in my own place. I am my own house and 
So, so we just saw you rotate instruments, rotate stations, and I was noticing that happening a lot during sound check. There was everybody was playing everything else, and it looked like a whole yeah. lot of fun. Is that what songwriting or rehearsal looks like for you guys? Do you tend to do a lot of round robin stuff and play each other's instruments and just switch around and see what happens? No. <laughs> <laughs> claro que no. Pero thank you for asking. Um, I actually write the bulk of the tunes in their formative stages for the band on banjo or on ukulele and occasionally on keyboard, including, I mean, we have a big, we have a big giant disco track called Denim Jacket, which I wrote entirely on banjo, who makes no appearance at any point on the record. So uh, kind of the arrangement writing process is I've got uh, chords and lyrics and form on one of the instruments that I play and we bring it into the whole band. I've kind of got a good idea of horn parts, but obviously they add their magic, and JQ and Will are adding their magic to the chords, and Seabass, I don't know, we have, we seem to speak the same language, rhythmic language. <laughs> so uh, the groove usually comes together um, right away, but we, we are all folks who like to learn, um, and we're folks who like to try different things and expand our musical knowledge, um, so we will occasionally pick up each other's instruments. We're not very good, but I do have this dream where one day we can get to a point where, you know, folks can be playing whatever they want on stage, you know? Anything's possible. Yeah. We have good friends. That's right. Anything is possible. Yeah. It's, uh, it seems like, I mean, magic, magic is the word that keeps on coming up over and over, and this does feel very magical today. Thank you oh, guys so much for you. doing it. And there's a lot of magic left. We're only halfway through. What's, what's coming up third today? Um, oh, I know. Sorry. I forgot. Um, <laughs> we're going to do a tune called Flesh and Bone. This is a special one. You called it a fan favorite, which I appreciate. This was on the first EP that we put out. It was called The Good Life. Um, I think that I, I wrote this song about four years ago, so do the math. And I think that it is kind of a, a political statement, a, um, a personal statement, and it continues to make more sense every day um, and take on different meanings. So we're excited to play it now. And uh, yeah, let's do it. I love this one. This is a lot of fun. So this is Flesh and Bone. Ah, today would have been a perfect day to go to the beach. I'm on the sofa trying to get over a hate speech. We do not love ourselves the way the prophets teach. Sin. Even Jesus kept his feelings like a lamp in the dark Until he flipped the tables over up in the market Oh mother, there are lamps and there are sparks But I need to know Don't be for dawn. 
Wonderful! Thank you guys for doing this yeah, and of course, of course. vibrating this room the way that it's meant to be vibrated. Yeah, thank um, you. Man, this is so much fun. And you, so you mentioned the show in Georgia, and I know that uh, Moon Moon Crush was just just announced. Um, what what's that all about? I mean, that's an in person thing, right? A distanced in person thing. Can you talk about uh, that show? Absolutely. Uh, Kellen, come here. Um, so we're very excited about Moon Crush Live. This is a festival taking place in Miramar Beach, Florida. Um, Kellen actually has a hand in um, the company Topeka, which is the company that's throwing the event. We're yeah. very excited about it. Really special lineup, so we're really honored to be part of it. Um, what's, the, what's the elevator pitch about Moon Crush? It's not a festival. It's a connected music vacation. <laughs> nice. That sounds delightful. So that's that. Uh, we're very, very excited. Um, yeah, again, very lucky to be one of these bands, which is having opportunities to perform in these uncertain times, um, we're excited for a safe environment to be in person and connect with the people that uh, support us and are the only reason that we were able to make it through this wild year. Hallelujah. Nice. Well, congratulations on that. I mean, the, the lineup is amazing. The ri revivalists are on there. Cheryl Crow's on there. Jason Isbell, Lake Street Dive. You guys. Oh yeah. St. Paul and the Broken Bones. Wow. Yeah. Another band with an ampersand. That's right. <laughs> well, that's going to be a ton of fun. We really appreciate you bringing this music to us today. And uh, we are not yet done. There still is more of it. So what, what do you feel like doing last today? Yes, yeah, so we have one more. This is a song called Let's Throw a Party. It is the title track off the... You knew that. Stop it. 
This, this is a song called Let's Throw a Party. It's the title track off the EP, Let's Throw a Party. Um, this is a tune which is kind of just facing chaos, facing the passing of time, facing aging, and doing it with a sense of humor and with a sense of joy and being aware of the things that we can change and actively changing them and being aware of the things that we can't change and we may as well throw a party while they're going on. So that's what this song is about. Uh, it's a little bit of everything. Um, we're very excited about it. It's got some cool feel changes, which is a nod to some of our uh, favorite artists that have come before us. I'm going to play a little keys. Uh, it features Will Eaton, a guitar solo. It features Kellen Anderson and Max Oy on saxophone. Once again, this is Miss Kaya Kulu, Miss Meyer Moon, right. the high and the low. This is JQ on the bass, Good. James Quinlan, and this is Sebas Chidiwaga on the drums. Let's do it. I'm coming back over here. Remember what I said about chaos? <laughs> yeah. Chaos. We are. You are chaos. I'm looking at you. All right. Nice and slow, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How's, how's, the, how's the feedback situation? Yes, it is. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Yeah, we good. We good. All right, see bass. Here we go. One, two, here we go.
as we go. so much paste magazine <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. let's throw a party out <laughs> wow it's a whole cardio day today that is a whole yeah it's cardio day today that was our ymca Man, Sammy Ray and the friends, thank you guys so much for being here. And best of luck on Let's Throw a Party. The EP is out right now. Best of luck at Moon Crush. That sounds like a wonderful commute. I forget the exact elevator pitch, but it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun, man. Have, have a great time. Thank you guys so much for doing yeah, this. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you, Cutting Room.